This is Marie Ork. She's a voice man for the free plug alter ego singing synth. She just sang Tyrannosaurus Rex, which is Latin for Tyrannosaurus Rex. Basically, enter any lyrics, literally any lyrics, and play some MIDI notes, and she will sing the lyrics for you. She's most realistic in the standard alto range, but can also sing very, very high or absurdly low. To explain a bit how I like to set her up, this is not the only way to do it, but it works for me for live keyboard input especially. Let's just have her sing the A vowel. I have CC11, that's expression controlling volume and a bit of high frequency sizzle, which I like much better than having note velocity control volume and expression going 100% to sizzle. Let's play that A and move CC11. Uh... CC1 controls vibrato, a combination of both depth and speed. Uh... And note velocity controls the glide, and so high velocity short glide, low velocity longer glide. Uh, 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 uh. Put this together and she can get pretty expressive. In addition to this clean singing voice, which is new, she also has a talker mode and the growl and space voices, which were originally created for the KVR developer challenge in 2016. They're all built from the voice data of the same human vocalist, though they don't really sound all that similar. Because the synthesis engine is capable of a whole lot of different stuff, let's take a look at a few different presets. This is an indie preset, which is loosely based on the classic how to hip sing uh, tutorial video parody. And what makes the sound different is mostly the breath parameter being turned up a bit and moving throughout the phrase, because leaving it at a fixed value sounds both boring and unrealistic. Also, the high frequency sizzle, wave rate, and phoneme speed are all a bit lower, and the vibrato is pretty deep. This is a more robotic voice. The most important things here are using a hardware impulse to get the thin metallic sound, turning up high frequency sizzle up a lot, and to make the voice more robotic I also have no acceleration on the vibrato, so that both gentle and heavy vibrato will have the exact same speed, and zero glide and legato glide time, so notes will not glide at all. Wave rate is low and phoneme speed is very high, which also makes for stranger kind of harsh consonants. And this is my robot voice. Getting more exotic, here's sort of a cello-like sound. It's not realistic, but evocative of a cello, let's call it that. I messed with a lot of stuff to get it to sound less realistic, so helium, femme factor, high frequency sizzle, wave rate, phoneme speed, and a bit of breath. I also set the glide time to zero, but legato glide high, so detached notes will not glide at all, but legato notes will, and set up a dramatic vibrato. You could, of course, have all these parameters automated and morph from this kind of fake cello back to a singing voice. There is a polyphonic mode, which isn't really good for doing things like four-part vocal harmony mock-ups. You would want four separate instances of alter ego, each with a monophonic voice for that, but it does work well for sounding like a synthesizer or a vocoder. <laughs> Bye.
here's a priest that I'm really proud of. She's literally just singing the F consonant, going <laughs> But with zero wave rate and zero phoneme speed, it becomes this really weird lo-fi pad. To make it even more organic, I have wave rate key follow turned up, so wave rate will go faster for higher notes. That means that while you're holding down a chord, the notes don't quite have the same timbre, and also their loop points won't be synced. So far, all of these have used the cleat voice, so here are some dubstep basses. With these, the key is instead of having the vibrato control pitch, have the vibrato effect helium a lot, which will give it a wobble. One dubstep bass made from the clean voice, one with the space voice, and one with the growl. <laughs> Finally, let's take a quick look at how she works in a song. In this case, the vocalist Ban, that's the actual human vocalist whose voice data Marie Ork is based on, wanted her to sing a clean vocal over a very chromatic death metal guitar part, which is not easy to sing melodically over. So we took a rough instrumental demo of this part, fired up Marie, and tried to come up with some melodies which will both be melodic and will match what's happening in the guitars. As you can see here in the lyrics, there are a few bits in square brackets where instead of plain English, they're entered as ex sample phonetics. Latin words need to be entered that way, but with English it's also important. Sometimes you have to use that to get a word pronounced the way you want, but in this case we just used phonetics to put a few consonants on their own notes so we could control how long they sustain. Some people will put every single consonant on its own note as with the Tyrannosaurus Rex at the beginning of this video, we have CC11 controlling volume and a bit of high frequency sizzle, vibrato on CC1, and you can see the automation clips here. Note velocity is, again, affecting the glide times. An important aspect of getting alter ego in general to work with backing instruments is the timing. Notes will need to start a bit earlier than they would if you were notating the vocal part in a score. It's a little like working with sustained bold string articulations where you have to start notes early. In this case though, it depends on what's at the start of the syllable. Vowels need just a little bit of an early start, short consonants need more, and longer consonants need even more, and consonant clusters at the beginning of a syllable will need the longest early start. But, as Marty DiBerghi said, enough of my yakin. What do you say? Let's boogie. That's all we have. Thanks for watching this walkthrough.